So now that we got our kibble area all set up and ready to go, we're going to need some things to make some kibble. So we do need an industrial cooker uh, and it requires a lot of stuff here. So we got the industrial cooker. What is that here? We need 450 cementic paste, 300 oil, 1800 metal ingots, and 300 polymer. So we also need the industrial forge and the chemistry bench. Industrial grill I'm not too concerned about right now, but you know what? We need to get into the industrial age. Now with the industrial grinder, we can grind up a lot of things. And uh, that's what I've been doing. And I haven't ground up, grind up? I don't know the correct way to say that, but <laughs> I have not grinded anything up that has polymer yet. I've been just grinding up building pieces that I haven't used. And so I have a lot of stone, wood, and thatch. So we're gonna learn all these things. Uh, this one's actually the least expensive. But like I said, we don't really need this one right now, but we'll we'll unlock it. We'll unlock. We have plenty of points available. So we'll unlock the industrial grill. We'll unlock the industrial forge as well, which we're going to need this one. And then we'll unlock the industrial cooker. Now, the other industrial item that we need is the chem bench. And that requires quite a bit of things, too. So... The first one we should get, because I guess technically you should kind of go in order, and it's industrial grill, then industrial grinder, which we have, and then the industrial forge. So I was going to try and get this on the cooker, but then I'm just like, hmm, I think we need an industrial forge first, so then we can get some of that metal smelting, because there's a lot of these things need a lot of metal. And uh, this, I mean, this one requires a lot of metal too, and a lot of polymer. Uh, so we're going to be grinding up and getting all the resources that we need to build said things. So with that, I did put a little box here. I need a bigger box than this, but uh, I mean, this is just full of stuff. It's just full of all the things that I need. And I don't want to get rid of all the stone because I'm going to need that for cementing paste. So, I mean, this is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot of materials and this is just from the building materials I had. So I got to start sorting this stuff out. Uh, we have plenty of things over here that I will probably not need. So let's take a lookster. There's a lot of weapons. Some of these weapons uh, will be made uh, with polymer and stuff. And some of these guys here. And then we also have armor that is, where is it at? Riot gear. Riot gear will give you polymer and stuff. So I need to sort a little bit, but I did sort some stuff over here, we don't have a gate anymore. I took that down. Uh, eventually, I will put something there. It's not really that pertinent. It, it really isn't. Everybody's kind of protected, and anyone who's out here can kind of protect themselves. So we got tons of stuff going on in here. We uh, need to situate this and sort this all out. So while these guys are breeding, I'm going to organize a little bit more, situate my stuff, and then maybe I don't have to get as many things as I thought I did. I do need penguins, but at the same time, I'm not I'm not a fan of using penguins for polymer. Uh, I think going this way with grinding up stuff might be the way to go. It, it really might be because the thing is you get so many good things in the drops. You get so much stuff in the drops that you could actually grind up into polymer. So basically just grind the stuff up in the grinder. That's it. And uh We'll get lots of stuff. So right now I'm taking all the saddles that I probably don't need. I mean, some of these, it's like, I don't think I'm going to tame a saber tooth. So I'm just like looking at things that I will probably not need. And how's this already damaged already? That's weird. But it needs cementic paste and metal. So uh, we're going to get rid of that too. And yeah, just you can get a lot of stuff just uh, grinding up saddles. So... Looking for all the ones that have the ascendant ones are going to give you a lot back and the same with I feel like any of like the water ones and then the flying ones a lot of times they'll give you a lot of good stuff back. And I think for now I'm going to get rid of all my riot gear because uh, I just don't need it right now. I don't need it right now this second. Um, what else can I get rid of? It's like I could grind up the chitin armor. Not right now. Right now I'm trying to get a lot of metal and polymer and cementing paste. So flak is probably good for that. Um, it feels weird to get rid of this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. 
I'm doing it. So let's get rid of all our flak. Cause you know what? We'll be able to find more of it. And if not, I already have, I have blueprints and stuff for things too. And it's like, as soon as we get the industrial forge, it'll be a lot easier for us to actually grind up things for uh, metal and stuff like that. We're not grind up things to smelt metal. So we don't need a lance. Uh, I don't need an assault rifle really, but uh, let's go through these guys here. Okay, so these are all the things right now that I can find, because there's still a lot of stuff on other different dinos, but all these things right now, I don't need. And there's a lot of ascended items up here, so let's see what we're going to get. Let's grind all the items. Look at that. Look at all that polymer. We got all this metal. We got silica pearls, obsidian, cementing paste, more metal. I think this is this might be enough metal, actually. We might have to go on one metal run real quick just get just enough to get the uh, industrial forge and this might be enough wait let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh, that's that's enough that's enough yeah so okay cool so we can get our industrial forge and then we'll see what's left over because we got to get this polymer bacon somewhere but, okay, cool. Let's see how much cementing paste we ended up getting. We'll uh, transfer all that. 15, 15, 28. Nice. Okay, so we'll transfer all the cementing paste. Uh, guess we'll put it on you for now. Yeah, we'll put all the cementing paste on you right now. I'm going to get this forge a brewing. And how much do we need for that? Because we have some polymer and stuff in here as well. We have a lot of stuff, actually. Mm-mm-mm. Crafting forge. So we have enough polymer right now. We need 600 cementing paste. Uh, we need more metal. And then the crystal's good. And we need oil. Okay. I think I have all those things right now. All right. I got enough for the forge. So let's make that baby. I have been smelting all of my metal <laughs> from <laughs> that little guy. <laughs> That's it. So uh, yeah, it'll be awesome to have a forge. All right, cool. So we have the forge now. Now, what else can we make? Can we make the chem bench? What do we need for that? We need 250 semantic paste. Uh, electronics? I I don't think I have electronics. Maybe. I don't know. Metal is not as crazy, and the polymer isn't as crazy either. So we can probably do all this too. Let me see. Do I got spark powder in here? Do I have enough in here? What do I got in here? Mmm... Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. <laughs> so, we got our spark powder. Now, I know you could track these things, but uh, I forget how. So, <laughs> I don't, so uh, we're just going to do it like this. This is the old school, old school way. All right. So, you have, you have some metal, but I don't want to take your metal. We'll put those on there. Electronics. Do you have any? You don't have any electronics. So, electronics might be the only thing I have to make. Let's put all these guys in here. Let's see the bench. And we need ingots and polymer. Okay. Well, electronics is the only thing that I don't have. Um, I just took some from the Brano, I guess just from different drops and stuff. And I did not unlock it yet. So let's unlock that. And then we will make up the difference here. So what's the difference? It's 74, we got 74, 250. Uh, let's just make 200. How do we make electronics? Can we make 200? We can craft 11. <laughs> okay, so we're going to need a bunch of metal and silica pearls, which I have a lot of pearls over here. So boop, boop. And then what can I make? 78. Okay, let's get started on that. We'll get started on those. And it seems like it's going to run out of pearls before it'll run out of metal. So, okay. But I feel like this is the way to go. Like, especially with the drops being the way that they are, like, just... Just grind things up. You don't even need to go and farm. You don't need to, you don't need to get anything. Like you could just do it like this. So it's going to take a little bit of time for this to actually craft all up. So while that's happening, let's uh you know what? I'll put all this stuff on you. I'll put that on you. I'll move you over here. And then we're going to place down our forge, which I think, you know what? I still think this is a good spot for it. Like I mean, it should be okay, right? What other did I have in here? nothing 
Yeah, it should it should be okay. These boxes aren't going to be like this. I only did this because I just I didn't feel like walking back and forth because I was doing a lot of that already. So the boxes are there temporarily until we can get vaults and stuff. But let's place our industrial forge. That's huge. Okay, wait, this might not be a good spot for it. Where is a better spot for the forge? It is not a good spot at all for the forge. Hmm. Forge is as big as my hallway. Uh, where should we stick this? You know what I could do? Because this does fit like right here in between these two boxes. It won't be completely symmetrical from what I have on the other. Mm, maybe what I could do is I could build a little like platform that goes out just a teeny tiny bit and then uh, set the forge in there. And I think that'll work. Yeah, so I took down some of the walls, and uh, yeah, it will go in between this little space here. So yeah, I just got to build some flooring. Probably, I could probably make it curve along with the actual forge as well. I mean, we got plenty of resources in here. Okay, it took me all night to figure it out, but if I put this like this, I can put it right up against the wall here. And boom, it's got its own little, uh, little hole. <laughs> the, the little forge nook. Here we go. And I don't think, yeah, I don't need uh, gasoline to do this. So, where to put this gasoline? I don't even know where I got this gasoline from. I think, oh, that's because I made it in the forge. All right, so electronics should be done. Yes, the electronics are done. And do we have enough for the bench? We need more polymer. So let me get the rest of the polymer and metal ingots, and then we should be a G2G. Now, this is one of the reasons why I like making hard polymer as opposed to organic polymer. I mean, you don't make it, but you go get it. But um, it takes up too many spaces. So unless you have a mod that stacks, you know, the stacks on top of each other, this is kind of a pain in the butt sometimes, especially when you're trying to craft all these big guy uh, items and you have a lot of stuff going on in here. Um, it's, it's more bothersome, I feel like, when you're using uh, blueprints for saddles and things like that. But for right now, this works. I feel like the industrial forge is usually the toughest one to make. But um, we have everything that we need to make a bench. So let's make the bench now, too. And then that'll handle all our other stuff. So doing our cementing paste and doing our what else do we need? Spark powder, things like that. And uh, where do we want to stick this? I mean, I made this little area. The bench isn't that big. The bench is not that big. But mm, will it look like Dookie if I just kind of stick it in there like that? I feel like yes. Will it look like Dookie if I just stick it in here like that? <laughs> Not so much. Mm. I mean, mm, no, I don't like the way that looks. But I also might be getting Vault soon. So this whole situation might not even be here anymore. So for right now and what we need it for, this will work. So what else do we need? The industrial cooker, which is the one the one item that I really, really wanted because uh, I need to start making some kibble and things like that. I'm be making all this stuff. So industrial. Nope, not the industrial cocker. <laughs> but uh, cementing paste. 450 metal ingots, 1800. I probably don't have that metal now, but uh, and I don't have that oil for sure. So I'm going to have to go and harvest those things up. Uh, I probably don't have to make very many trips to do that. I mean, I have enough polymer. I mean, I'm not going to have enough polymer if I don't use it up. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if I have enough stuff going on. So I might just grind up a couple other things. Eh, I might have enough metal, actually. Okay, so I do have enough metal, but I have no more oil. I used it all up on the forge. So we're going to have to go out and go get some oil. Um, that's actually probably a good thing because then it'll allow me to try and find some penguins. So let me just make sure Nadukia has what I need. Yeah, all my stuff's on her. So yeah, we'll put, we'll do this. Um, I'm just going to check on the babies and stuff real quick and take everything off that I don't need. And then, yeah, we'll go get some oil and we will also, uh, possibly go get some penguins as well. Now, I, I feel like I almost don't need them. Because I'm uh, actually just going to go grind up uh, loot drops. <laughs> I feel like that's what I should just do. I should just look for loot drops. You know, we'll do that instead. If I, if I come across a penguin, cool. If not, I'm not worried about it. 
All right, gotta get me some oil. I didn't see any penguins, but there's also a lot of really bad stuff all over the place, so that might be why I didn't see any penguins. Is that thing? Oh, that, that. <laughs> Is that a silica pearl? Stop. Stop! <laughs> it was so big! <laughs> why was it so big? Okay. Uh, Yeah, really, why was it so big? I don't understand. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna harvest up the oil that I need to get the cooker. There's some rocks here. There's also some rocks up there, and I think there might be rocks on that rock. I didn't see anyone who drove by there, but you can go check too. Look at how big this silica pearl is. Man, if I found something like that, I'd be rich. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Wait, I can like hide in it. Wait. <laughs> okay, wait. Do like this? I am the pearl. Look, look at how big this thing is. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I just sucked it into myself. Cool. Alright. I'm going to harvest up the rest of this oil, and then we probably have enough to make our cooker. Yeah, I didn't see anything else going on. There's a lot of bad things. There's like uh, UDs and stuff like that. None of them high level, of course, but we are still on the lookout for a UD and uh, possibly a Rex, although they don't spawn up here at all. They don't, they don't really do that. Did that? Okay. I was like, did that just spawn back? But, um, yeah, they, uh, we might need to get Rex. I really don't know. I don't, I don't know. We might go Mega Ethereum all the way because that's the one thing I do have right now. And the levels on the island are atrocious. So, yeah, there's no oil over here. This is just a rock. It's not even a fancy rock. Nope. I feel like this rock used to be more interesting. I feel like it did. Could be wrong. We need to start doing some caves soon. I'm actually pretty close to one uh, one ice cave here. And uh, I don't have any weapons on me that could handle that cave. So, But uh, we need to finish. Yeah, we need to finish getting the rest of the artifacts. We have so much stuff to do. And at the same time, we don't. It's a lot of the same rinse and repeat action right now. We got a lot of uh, breeding to do, got a lot of artifacts stuff to do, but we finally are getting our industrial items, which is great. I just pay attention to this RG over here. I want him starting stuff. And this is obsidian, which is weird. I don't really need any obsidian. I got lots of that. All right. I got to make sure that I have enough space. I don't know if I do. I'm kind of heavy when I'm riding you. Uh, we'll put that there, we'll put that over there, get rid of that, and is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. We only need 300 oil. Now, I probably should get more just for other stuff, but I'm not too worried about it. I can still get oil and everything like that from drops, so we're just going to head on back and get our items made up. Man, there's like a bazillion pigs over there. One of them's a level 100, though. It's like level 100, level 10. I do need a Deodon as well. I mean, half the time I feel like... I don't know. Like, I'll use them for boss fights, but, like, it, sometimes they're hard to keep track of. Look at them. Look at them all. Look at them all. <laughs> you get this level 100. I'm just chasing them. But, I mean, they're good for healing in between boss fights, definitely. What's going on over here? What do we got? 10 and an 80. Yeah. I don't know. They're they're good for healing, but in between uh, in between fights. But uh, other than that, I don't know. Like I don't really notice a big difference when they're actually in the boss fight. I feel like they're more of a liability. They kind of just don't <laughs> don't do anything. <laughs> they they heal, which is great. You know, it's good to have a healer. But it, it's a little. I feel like it's a little tougher when you're solo trying to do that. Um. It's doable. I mean, I've done it before. It's just, I don't know, when I'm trying to worry about courage roaring and then getting them in there and making sure things aren't on top of me and all that stuff, you know, it gets to be a bunch, bit much. Sometimes it's just cool to go in there with, like, really overpowered dinos and just really, like, just bumping up the health and bumping up the, the melee and going in there with a whole crazy army. Because I feel like depending on what boss you fight is depending on what you would exactly do because like some of them oh level five geez some of them it's like you need a lot of dps some of them you need a lot of health and uh some it's like a 
Mix and match. Here's another gaggle or flock of Deodons. One of these are high level, I'll tame them. Nah, it's 20 and 30, 25. I mean, I guess it's cool they uh, roll in little packs like that. It's a pack, not a gaggle. I mean, I guess they could be a gaggle of Deodons if they wanted to. And of course, the time I go out, I find no penguins, so I don't think I'm going to end up finding a mate for the other two that I have. Because I do need a male penguin, and I haven't found a single one up and down this coast. Lots of bad things. Lots of Carnos, UDs, Deodons all over the place. Wolves. Yeah. So I'm back at base, and I have enough for the cooker. We're going to get that. And then I did also learn the engrams for a refrigerator, which I need more electronics. So let's make some more electronics. Uh, I only need eight of those. Make electronics. And then I also need to see, I'll probably get some volts going on. Maybe not today, because yeah, look at that metal. We're gonna need to, I, I'm gonna need to smelt a bunch of metal. And it's kind of frustrating, because as of right now, I only have the Archies to do it, and I just kind of bring them back and forth from that mountain that's over there. And it takes a good bit of time. Oh, I look creepy. But I don't know if I want to actually, like, get a Quetzal or something, but then, like, I feel like that's a whole ordeal just for the sake of just metal gathering. I don't know. I don't know. I could also just bring a bunch of Archies over there, and that'll work as well. So, I mean, that's what I've been doing, and it seems to work, uh, you know, pretty okay. But let's make our fridge. So as of right now, we only need one. I don't think we need to do any more than that. So we got this, we got our cooker. And then once it's daylight, because it's hard to see stuff in the dark and it's hard to see stuff in the kibble area, uh, I will get back with you guys to show you where we're gonna stick some stuff. But yeah, what, what else do we need over there? We just need this for the kitchen. <laughs> really? Maybe a preserving bin? We'll make one of those too while I'm at it. Ooh, and I have just enough metal for the grill. Yes, we're doing that then, too. Nice, because I do not have a good way to cook meat at all. Like, I've been using a campfire, and it sucks. That's why I have eggs in my bar right now. I have dodo eggs, because <laughs> I have no meat to cook. I mean, I'm also running really low on meat, too, just because of all the uh, Megatherium babes over there. And stuff. But, uh, yeah, pretty soon we're going to have to situate through all these guys and make it... I don't need all these guys. I don't. I have to situate through all of them and see who matches up and then who I want to bring up in health and in melee and stuff. Okay, so I'm thinking that this area right here is going to be the kitchen area. I might put some kind of little divider in between stuff. I mean, this is the baby play area with the grass and stuff. <laughs> I had to move all those guys over there, but th that's okay. So I think... Because we have the garden area over there, and I'm going to make a door right there, so then you can kind of come in here, and then I figured, yeah, this could probably be the kitchen. So, the items that we got, we got a refrigerator, we got a cooker, we got some preserving bins, and the industrial grill. Now, from what I remember, the grill is the biggest... Eh, it's not that big. It really isn't that big. Alright, let's just put it here like this. Uh, maybe we'll put it like this in the corner. Like that. There we go. We got the grill. Now, all this stuff should be powered. It says no fuel unpowered. Cooks are all few. Requires this or this. Oh. I did have to move the generator, so the generator should be good now. And then... Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, everything's powered by the generator, so you don't even actually need to hook anything up. Especially this guy. Like, So you don't even have to hook this thing up anymore. Now, I don't know... I assume this is the front ways, so we'll just stick it here like that. And this is also powered. Cool. Nice. Actually, mm, I think I want to stick it over here. Yeah, I think I want to stick it, the industrial cooker, over here. Because a lot of times when you're cooking a lot of kibble and you need eggs and stuff, then, you know, you need a fridge right there. So I'll put the fridge in between, because if the fridge is in between, then... I can be like, oh, well, look at all this meat, plop. Or I could be like, oh, look at all the eggs, plop. I can do it back and forth. There we go. So, uh, this is, everything's powered. Yeah, that's so weird. <laughs> so all you got to do is just place them down. So here's a little kitchen area. Then we got two preserving bins. And this will primarily be 
Well, I'm not going to stick these here. This will primarily be for um, making jerky. So we'll have these two over here. We'll place our spark powder in there, even though there's nothing in there. That's okay. We'll put something in there at some point. But yeah, there we go. Our little kitchen area. This is such a tiny little kitchen area. <laughs> this is great. So let me get some of these uh, crops over here because we have plenty of crops. I should probably go with the dung beetle over here. I'm almost like tempted to, to like try and make it a separate area like completely and not use that for the kibble stuff at all. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we need to do and everything and, um, you know, go from there. But we have a lot of crops growing. We probably need some more crops because I could also extend this out to here. And then what do we have in here? We got tons of things in here. Tons of stuff. Uh, I'll move all that stuff later. <laughs> but we're just going to put our stuff away and we'll put it in the fridge. And then, wow, wow, wow. Look at all these vegetables we got. Mm -mm. Kitchen area. Nice. Okay, and I would say that pretty much wraps it up for this episode today. I mean, we're doing a lot of the same stuff, like I said before, but we are making progress. We got a kitchen area now. We've been making more Megatherium. She is currently gestating. And then we have all these guys that we got to sort through right now. Uh, not right now, right now, but eventually right now. In the very, very near future, we have to sort through all these guys. There's a couple double numbers in here, but not... Not double stats. Uh, it might just get to the point where I'm just like, yeah, we're just going to just take the good stats and that's it. And not try to get complete identical babies. Because it's, it's really difficult. I've been breeding these guys the whole time since, uh, what was it, like two episodes ago? Two, three episodes ago, something like that. And uh, still haven't had a match, at least that I could see. I mean, I have to look closer at some of these because uh, sometimes I had to go out and stuff like that. But yeah, but we also discovered a new, I don't know if it's necessarily new, but an efficient way to get polymer. Uh, just take the stuff that you find in loot drops and grind it up. That's it. And you will have enough stuff. I was able to make all that stuff today, the, all the industrial items, just with stuff that I found in loot drops. So, <laughs> I mean, aside from me going out and getting the oil at one point, yeah. Uh, so get all those loot drops. They give you good items. It's good for you. But uh, yeah, like I said, we got lots of things to do and not at the same time. <laughs> but if you found yourself enjoying the video, give it a like and subscribe for more stuff like that. And subscribe for more stuff like this. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for hanging out with me and take care.